Hi, in this quick video, I'm just going to show you how you can make mixes specifically for the iPhone, the iTouch, or the iPad. And you can also make mixes for the Sony PSP. So I'll just create a new mix and I will drag in a piece of video. Here it is my daughter. This is for my video camera. And I'll just draw your, your, your attention to the target frame size. So this is the target frame size of the mix that you want. So I just click on the on the menu and I'll just scroll up and I'll select the iTouch iPhone because I want to put it onto my iPhone this mix so now that that's selected I can just add in other pieces of media and start building up my video so I can actually put in videos photographs and just build up my mix Once I'm happy with my mix, then because I've got my target frame size here selected at iTouch iPhone, I just click on the e export mix. And here it says save to media box. So I can just save it to anywhere on my hard drive. Here I'll just pick Cormac Docs. And you'll see here is that the settings are all set out for me here. So the, the frame size here is selected as the iTouch iPhone. I'm using the H.264 level 4 codec. I'm going to use the 30 frames per second and I'm going to do high quality audio which is 320 kbps. And then once I click save, click yes, that mix is now saved in the dimensions that is is compatible with the iPhone and I can just drag and drop it and put it into my iPhone and it will play without a problem. I'll just cancel that. So if I wanted to make mixes for something else, for let's say the PSP, I just go down here and select PSP and whatever PSP I have. I have the PSP widescreen, so I'll just select that. And then again, if I click export, you'll see the frame size is selected as the PSP widescreen. And all I have to do is click save. Just give the, the file a name and click save. So the settings are to make it compatible with the Sony PSP or automatically in there so you don't have to worry about have I got the right video codec or have I got the right frame size they're all selected for you um, also what if I pick the iPhone video let's say and then I want to put some text in so I insert some text you'll see the target frame size automatically picks the target frame size that's up here so the text is created for uh, the I, iPod video. But just want to draw your attention to something. If I change it to, let's say, the PSP, and the text that's already in there is the iPod video, I just want to change that to the PSP extra widescreen as well. So just making sure that all the text is in there. Now, the first time you ever put text in there, it'll just select whatever the target frame size is. But if you decide to change it, you're going to have to change the text in there as well. Uh, another thing I just want to show you very quickly is how you can convert files very quickly to your iPod, iPod or your iPhone or your iTouch very quickly. So here I have some downloads here of some movies, some photographs. So here's a documentary. And here if I look at the file properties this is a large AVI file 25 frames it's 379 megabytes and I want to now convert that file just straight away one click convert to my iPhone I just right click on it and I select convert and then I'll just select convert to and there I can pick other things here in the drop down menu so I, what I'll do is I'll pick my iPhone and then I can just save it as documentary for iPhone and the settings are there the H.264 level 4 codec 30 frames a second and the high quality codec and just click save and now that documentary from the media browser is going to be saved in a format that's compatible with my iPhone and then I can just drag and drop it into my, into my iPhone using iTunes. 
So I hope this video helps and it explains um, how you can make mixes for specific um, devices very quickly, very easily, and also how you can convert large files like television programs or movies that you've downloaded at different file to file formats and you want to convert them into the iPhone or iPod um, file format quickly and easily and know that they'll play correctly on those devices. So I hope this helps and uh, if you've got any questions or you would like to contact me please just contact me on the forum. Thanks very much and I hope this helps. Bye bye.